Hello! Today we're going to use Boris Beat Reactor along with Fast Film Glow in Magic's Vegas 14. Beat Reactor is part of many effects included in Boris Continuum Complete 10. For this tutorial, we'll be using footage from our friends at Pond5. Sometimes you want a visual effect to react to the beat of some music. And Beat Reactor makes the process easy by allowing you to connect certain sliders to specific wavelengths in the audio. It's also smoother and more accurate than keyframing by hand. We'll start with this shot of a race car, and I've added a music track for reference. But keep in mind Beat Reactor doesn't directly use any of the audio tracks in your project. It has to be loaded separately, which I'll show you in a moment. I'll apply a fast film glow, open the effects browser. In here I can see all of my presets, uh, go through a couple of them and try them out. But I'm going to select a custom one called Glow Streaks. You'll see a checkbox, Enable Beat Reactor, and when you click that, a whole new set of options are available to you. We'll see a prompt asking us to load the audio file, which should be an AIFF file, and I'll select the same file that I have in my music track. Now as the music plays, you'll see that the audio waveform is visualized on top of the clip. The left side of the waveform represents low frequencies and the right is higher frequencies. And as you watch the waveform, you can get a sense of which color corresponds to what you'd like the slider settings to react to. Of course, this graph is just for reference and we can turn it off when we're ready for the final render. Each of these colored bars can be used to control certain settings in the effect. In this case, glow threshold, glow radius, and glow intensity. I want the beat to affect intensity. Now we'll select the bars on the left so they affect that parameter. Now, once I've selected that, some other options are available to us. Effect on parameter is exactly that, the effect that the sound has on the selected parameter. Replace, add, or subtract. You can select the minimums and maximums for the effects, as well as the strength. We'll set a minimum and a maximum. And I'll move apply strength up a bit. You can see it's a little more dramatic if I move it up to 200%. So as you can see, the glow effect is reacting to the beat of the music. The music wasn't affecting the glow intensity quite the way I wanted, so I'm going to come back here and adjust my selected area a little bit. Hopefully that will, uh, and we'll try this out. I think this should look a little bit better. And I'll be sure to turn off my graph by going back to the beat reactor settings. Say no to show graph. This last shot is similar, but I'll be using different music, and I'll want it to control glow intensity and threshold. We'll go through the same process, select our music, and this time we'll be selecting parameters A and B. We'll select this range for the intensity, and set our maximums and minimums. And for threshold, we'll connect it to these green mid-range frequencies. Note that threshold, due to its nature, works a little differently in that the lower value actually gives a stronger effect. Now this looks great, and we're going to stack a few more Boris effects on there to finalize the look. We'll add fast film process, and use one of the presets. I think I'll use light misting. And then we'll add a vignette and adjust it a little bit. And now we'll make an adjustment layer to affect the whole clip with its stacked on effects. And we'll add Boris Magic Sharp. And adjust it. And here's the final result, and it looks very stylized. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and don't forget Boris Continuum Complete is also available for Premiere, After Effects, Media Composer, Final Cut Pro X, Motion, Resolve, Fusion, Nuke, and Catalyst. 
This is Nathan Ryan signing off.